Hi, everybody. Good Tuesday evening to you all. Um, I did two uh, hauls today, one at Home Depot and one at Albertsons, our, our mean chain <laughs> grocery store. Um, I... Uh, I was I did a video well I did a video on home at Home Depot today um, on the Christmas stuff they had they had some really cool stuff and I did a short video on that so check it out um, it's only about a minute and a half uh, tomorrow I am going to attempt to get back the videos that I uh, accidentally lost uh, yesterday on Monday, so I'm go probably gonna I'm gonna try to go as early as possible. Um, anyway, look forward to that tomorrow. There'll probably be quite a few, probably two or three, and I hope they'll be good, uh, better than the ones I did turn bleh, that didn't turn out yesterday. Okay, back to the subject here. Uh, this is what I got at Albertsons. I got some signature brand um, store brand. Potato chips that are sour cream and onion for a snack for dipping and things. Uh, this is my non-dairy cheese, Daya. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Daya or Daya. Deliciously dairy-free jalapeno Havarti style, which I'm eager to try. I don't know if I've had Havarti cheese. Um, I'm sure I have. I've been around a while. <laughs> um, this is uh, Organics, the store brand, uh, Organic Guatemala Coffee. Um, that's that. This is another Dea, deliciously dairy-free, spicy Monterey Jack style shredded cheese for, uh, uh, you know, you can make tacos, make your own pizzas, whatever, with the non-dairy cheese. I have buttery spread with canola oil, um, regular bananas, a whole bunch of them. I think they were like 70 some cents. Uh, my guilty pleasure, uh, this is the dark blend flavor of Coca-Cola and coffee. My number one guilty pleasure beverage. <laughs> uh, now, I used to love these. I've always loved these. Picnic, original, shoestring potatoes, kind of like french fries. Um, and they're really good. And this is a small container um, of the Picnic, original shoestring potatoes. Another one of the dark blend. I actually got a four pack of it too, and I'm on the fourth one already. <laughs> Uh, cheap vegetable oil, cheapest, one, two, three. Always have to have vegetable oil if you're a cook or a baker. Onion powder for my spice collection. I run out of spices. Uh, well, they usually last at least a month. Uh, a jar. I, I just need so many. Oh, I dropped my... Uh, I got these um, plantains. They're plantains. They look like a banana. They're actually Caribbean, popular in the Caribbean, like Haiti, Dominican Republic, Cuba, and J and Jamaica. I, uh, I, I I I saw a recipe on a video and a couple of videos on YouTube of how to make fried plantains. It's pretty easy. You just fry them in olive oil and uh, put some sprinkle some cinnamon on them, which I have both of olive oil and uh, cinnamon. I'm gonna maybe try this tonight. I'm eager to see how they are. I, my neighbor actually uh, recommended plantains. They're called, uh, in Jamaica, they call them big bananas, and they consider them a vegetable, not a fruit, like a regular banana. Uh, and the store clerk in Albertsons, I, I didn't know much about them, about plantains. I don't know that I've ever bought them before. Um, but he told me that Depending on whether you're from the Dominican Republic or Cuba, uh, the color is matters. Or uh, Dominican, if Dominican Republic, the Dominican Republic um, likes the the black plantain, the black banana plantain. I mean, at the store they're called banana plantains, but Dominicans like the black plantain, and from Cuba they like the. Um, green 
green plantain. So that I think is my haul. Uh, yeah, that's my haul from Albertsons. It's never been really big and I ended up spending like 36, which is 20 more than I spent at Walmart last week, which was only like 16 for a bunch of stuff. Probably got the same amount of stuff. <laughs> so you can see the price difference between, excuse me, between um, Albertsons and uh, Walmart. Um, but Walmart's a little crazier than Albertsons as far as lots of people and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go over here. This is going to be a quick one on Home Depot. This is what I bought at Home Depot. As you, uh, If you saw the video from a few hours ago, I was showing you these things. They, uh, these crystals, I forgot what they're called. I think, I remember seeing them a lot. Well, I actually remember seeing them a lot in Germany. So they might be uh, German. I forgot what they're called though. These, uh, I just forgot what they're called. <laughs> if anybody knows, help me out. Uh, but these are cool. This one was like $9.99, which, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I could have used the $9.99, but I I don't have any Christmas decor, even leftover from like the past years here. Uh, so I decided to get this. I thought about putting it outside, but then I'm thinking, eh, you know, I don't want anything to happen to it. So I just want to keep it in here for now. Um, so that's that. Yeah, if anybody knows what these are called, let me know in the comment section. And this, I I used to use these at work for uh, sweeping the floor at uh, the laundromat. Uh, I like these long handled dustpans better. Uh, since I have uh, back pain, it just keeps me from having to like bend down with just a you know regular short handled dustpan. I like, I just love these dustpans. <laughs> and since I sweep a lot um, due to having a cat um, and cooking and baking in the kitchen, uh, this was uh, a good investment for me. Um, that's all I can really show you from Home Depot. I'm wearing a long sleeved uh, heavy material Carhartt, which is a working work clothes brand, uh, long sleeve shirt. I mean, it's not really, it's not cold in the daytime. You really can wear, get away with wearing short sleeves in the daytime here now um, at this time of year. But, you know, I still do go out, go outside and go places at night sometimes. So, uh, and it can, it can get cold. It's actually pretty warm now in my apartment though. So, so I had that shirt on. I didn't want to flip the camera around or I guess I could. Eh. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to attempt it, but that's what I'm wearing right now doing some laundry looking forward to going out and bringing that content to you it was it was an amazing adventure and um, really really saw covered some territory and saw things that I hadn't seen that aren't very far from where I live so um, I'll do that tomorrow hopefully in the morning uh, just got a lot on my plate right now a lot I'm dealing with and a lot I'm doing to try to get ready for the holidays but uh, I will try to bring you the uh, plantain video later or sometime early tomorrow. All right, everybody, you all take care. Have a wonderful and blessed Tuesday evening. Uh, look forward to those videos tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you some, uh, well, it's a brand new Maverick station, which is a gas station convenience store chain in the, uh, the Western US. I don't know if they have them in the Midwest or Eastern U.S. at all. I'm not sure. Um, but I've seen, I saw them a lot in Utah on my vacation this summer. Uh, they have one now. They've been working on building it for quite a while. Um, so I'm glad it's there. We have uh, two Speedway gas stations. I'm right off the interstate. So we have, you know, it's like a pit stop, you know, gas stop for people traveling north or south um, on Interstate 25. And there's two speedways. One of the speedways has a Wendy's Hamburgers restaurant. <laughs> and then um, there's a Church's Chicken. And then down uh, at the end of the trail, which is down the road a little bit, there's a Posa's, Posa's restaurant. I believe that's a local New Mexican chain. And it's got supposed to have like the best tamales. And I have tried it before. Um, 
and it was pretty good. Uh, I'll have to say uh, the tamales were pretty good. I, yeah, I believe I got tamales. <laughs> Um, don't know how to cook those yet, though. Um, and there's something else I was going to say, and I don't even remember what. So, uh, you all take care. Have a great evening, and I will see you all sometime early as possible tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.